So I was just finishing filming up some segments for the video where I talk about this 190cc CT70 bike and it started raining pretty good. So uh, I got home barely before it started pouring. My buddy who was headed the other direction hopefully beat out the storm because uh, he had about a mile to go east. But yeah, the weather changes here in Florida pretty quickly. Now that I'm pretty much finished up with my 190cc bike uh, that is really a resto mod, I realized that the 1969 bike that I have that I did a little bit of resto mod by way of the engine and exhaust and a few other very small things, now it doesn't really have a place in the garage that makes a lot of sense. I put the 125cc engine on this bike as well as the TB parts exhaust so that I could have it be a little more rideable, but it otherwise is pretty close to a restoration. I, I know I did a powder coat instead of the official paint, um, and there's a couple of very small things uh, that are different, but I'm thinking at this point if I want this to keep a place in my garage that I probably should do something different and make it uh, much closer to a restoration. So while I originally tried the 72cc engine and wasn't enthralled with it, I'm thinking it might be a little more fun now to make this a project of being as close to a restoration as possible. And again, it should be pretty simple, short of the 12 volt power system that I have in it, which includes the key and some of the light bulbs, the engine and exhaust, and then the skid plate and some of the other trinkets that make up the original bike uh, shouldn't be too hard. I found a good deal on eBay where for only $125, I could order uh, this shipped to my house. Uh, it looks to be overall in pretty good condition. Uh, the head, I'm looking at it, actually says 49cc, so it's the head off of a Z50 or some other bike, but the case actually has a CT70 serial number, so I actually do have another head that I'm ready to throw on this, and there's a few other things that it might take to get this into good shape, but I think I'm gonna try to get this running and real pretty, and have this be the power plant on my restoration for the 1969 bike. All right, so I've got this all sandblasted and it feels really nice, ready for coat. I also, before paint, I prep it with this uh, panel prep surface cleaner to remove any final oil. And then I'm shooting it with a VHT high temp wheel paint. Uh, this aluminum color ends up looking really close to the Honda Cloud Silver color. Uh, on the lilforms.com, there was some tests that showed that this was the closest um, and much more readily available. So I'm gonna shoot it with this. All right, so I'm here on my very messy workbench. A lot of the comments are making fun of the fact that I'm always working on the floor, so I thought I'd at least do this motor build on an actual bench. Uh, so I've got it here in that box that I built in that other video. I need to put on the head. I did clean up all of the old uh, gasket that was apparently not changed for the last 50 years. Uh, inside this side of the engine, everything looks pretty good. Um, there's not really a way that I'm aware of to test the clutch or any of the pieces inside, but I just wanted to make sure that everything looked good and. Everything looks fantastic. So I ordered from CHP a new gasket and a few of the seals that uh, will be required in putting this engine back together, as well as some of the gaskets for the head that I'm gonna put on. For some reason, this engine had a 50cc head on it, but I do have the 72cc head that I'm going to be assembling. And again, a few of the parts that I need for that so that I can get it on the bike. And first test spark because I don't know if this stator is working correctly. But with the parts that I have from this order, I should be able to get it on the bike and actually see if I'm getting spark. If I'm getting spark, I know the head that I have is good. So as long as I guess the transmission is good, because that's the one thing that I wasn't able to look at, I should be in good shape. There's also a chance that the uh, clutch may need to be replaced, but I figure I want to first see what I've got before I start making too many changes. I've also got a few parts that I'm going to take to the powder coater tomorrow. I've got the foot peg and kickstand bracket. Uh, that's in fantastic shape. There's no bends. I've got the foot pegs that are period appropriate as well as the kickstand. So I'm going to get those to the powder coat as well as the, I need to powder coat the kickstand that I made for the 1970 uh, 190cc bike. I did some welding to finish that one up. 
I had a 3D printed piece that I was using temporarily. Uh, but I'm going to get all those powder coated at the same time. So let's take a quick look at the order from CHP. So I'm not sponsored by CHP or anything like that, but I've got to say they are the most reliable uh, place for CT70 parts that um, I've experienced. And there's only a few places to go to, but they have the largest inventory and the fastest shipping. And honestly, the friendliest folks too. There's been a couple of times I've had to do returns and uh, they've been really fantastic. So uh, I highly recommend them. So here's the gaskets that I ordered. This is the gasket for the clutch cover and the two gaskets for the cylinder and the head. I think, uh, yeah. And yeah, that's the other thing. I mean, they carry OEM Honda parts. All these come in the nice little Honda bags. So I ordered some fuel line, which is the appropriate gray one for my 1969 bike. This is actually just a nut for the clutch cover case that tightens the uh, auto assembly. New piston rings for the piston that I'm putting into the spike. Oh, I ordered, I ordered new knobs. Uh, the knob that I put onto the 1969 bike, uh, it was actually painted a slightly not black color and it had a few imperfections. It actually looked pretty good, but since I was going for a restore now, I figured I should uh, go all the way. So I bought two new knobs. Here's the other one. Uh, two studs for mounting the exhaust on the bottom of the engine. New screws for the clutch cover and flywheel cover. The only thing that was missing from my head was the cam gear, so ordered a new Honda cam gear for this engine. And then this is a couple of the gaskets that I need. I think one's for the engine, one's for the nut on the clutch cover, and then a few clips for the hosing that I bought. I picked up this gorgeous period appropriate uh, speedometer as part of a trade for the 12 volt stuff that I pulled off of the bike. And then I also 
replaced the knobs here with new OEM knobs. The ones that I had were OEM, but they'd been painted over at some point and didn't look quite perfect. So really happy with the way those two things came out. All right, so that's probably enough content for today. Uh, I wasn't able yet to try to test for spark because I don't have the right cam sprocket. I have that on order, should have it here, maybe even tomorrow. Uh, and by now, actually, I also have the intake manifold, the carburetor, and everything else that I need to actually fire it up. So after I determine spark is good, should be able to try to get this whole bike running. A few other small things, I need the new key, and I need to finish the six volt wiring. Uh, but other than that, really happy with the way the powder coated a kickstand assembly came out and uh, looking forward to getting this back to more of a restore. So anyway, thanks everybody for watching. Please stay tuned for more videos.